Zoe Bentley. I am many things, most of which would take hours to explain fully. I am an exogeologist, an unschooler, a vegan, a novelist, an editor, a treasure hunt maker, a comedian, a salesperson, a catchphrase creator, a poet, a movie maker, a game show host, a speaker, and five foot four. <laughs> I had a hard time deciding what to say about myself because that's both a very broad and very narrow subject at the same time. I say different things about myself depending on who I'm talking to. To some people, I'm an exogeologist and an interviewer. To others, I am a homeschooler and a novelist. To others still, I am many different combinations of roles and skills and traits. Today, I am a speaker. I've always loved speaking. Words and how they are spoken are very important to me. I use words in all aspects of my life, and I always have. I read every day, and I write on most days. Sometimes when I read, I get to change what I read to make it better and more correct. That's when I'm an editor, and it's a job I very much enjoy. When I write, sometimes I write poetry, other times prose. Sometimes I write fiction, other times nonfiction. Sometimes I write speeches. I also give speeches and presentations at conferences, which is a new and very challenging addition to the list of things I do. My favorite thing to write so far is by far a young adult fantasy novel called Fractured Fate. Fractured Fate is written by five co-authors, including myself, and is about five teenage superheroes in the real-life town of Sorita, Arizona, who saved the world from a mysterious artifact. In the case of Fractured Fate, not only am I a writer, but I'm also an editor, a researcher, a model for sketches of the characters, a salesperson, a blogger, and a little overwhelmed. <laughs> But words are good for more than just the obvious hobbies and jobs and roles I take on. For a start, I use words in everything. I write about everything I do. I write about my education, my ethics, my travels. And I especially like to write about exogeology, which is the geology and rocks and formations of other planets and their moons. And I even have a whole website devoted to the topic called exogeologyrocks.com. <laughs> when I'm not writing about exogeology or superheroes, I write about a multitude of other eclectic things. But words are good for more than just writing. They're also necessary for asking and answering questions perhaps in an interview. I've been on both sides. I have interviewed NASA scientists and astronauts for exogeology rocks with the occasional novelist or restaurant owner on the side. And I have been interviewed by the Today Show and other news shows about being homeschooled and I've been interviewed about being an author. I find myself in front of a camera a lot of the time, especially when I film my own video trivia game called Zoe's Geo Party, which has a signature flourish. <laughs> Zoe's Geo Party involves me traveling around the whole country filming about clues about everything that I see on the places I go. And I often need to clearly articulate clues about everything from rocket science to potato chips. Sometimes I need to make up a clue on the spot because there's a good opportunity for a clue which just can't be missed. Today I had to do this. I went to the Tech Museum and I made five clues even though I wasn't expecting to. But they were just so good I couldn't miss them. I also 
also have a work in progress game show called Tourist in Your Town. This one doesn't have a flourish yet. <laughs> in Tourist in Your Town, people who live all across the country see how well they know their own town by looking at pictures of road intersections and pointing them out on a map. The prize, once I find funding, is a tour of their own town. So I can tell contestants, be a tourist in your town! My game show endeavors are only practice for one of my long-term goals, which is to work for the quiz show Jeopardy on their clue crew, traveling around the whole world, filming video trivia clues about anything and everything. My other long-term goal is to be an exogeologist for NASA, studying the surfaces of other worlds and moons and deciphering their history. I have big goals. But on a cosmological scale, they seem much smaller. I want to stand out, make a difference, and be happy. That's what I want. This is who I am. Madam Toastmaster.